Now, the next bit, we're looking at hydration and electrolytes. And obviously hydration, we're talking about water. Water is vitally important to the human body. We are made up of, like the vast majority of us is water. Um, water serves a, a number of different functions. It carries stuff around the body, like a lot of our blood is water with some other, some other bits in. Um, it, most of the biochemistry in the body, most of our metabolism can only happen in solution. If you were to get these things as dry powders and mix them together, nothing would happen. You would need to dissolve them in water and at that point the chemical reactions might happen. So our body's chemistry just doesn't work unless we, it's, it's in enough water, basically. Now, we need to understand the concept of osmosis when it comes to hydration. Osmosis is the, the flow of fluid across a semi-permeable membrane from an area of low solute concentration to one of high solute concentration. Now, this is again, a a weird concept to get your head around, but you can do a really simple experiment in the kitchen to illustrate this. If you, for example, get an aubergine or an eggplant um, or a cucumber or tomatoes or any other um, fruit or vegetable that's got a really high water content, if you put that in a colander or a sieve or something that will allow fluid to drain out, and then whack a ton of salt on it. Leave it, come back after a few hours and see what's happened. You should find that a lot of the water has come out. You'll see that in the bowl underneath the, the colander or the sieve. Now this is a, a real life demonstration of osmosis. When you, you slice the, the vegetables up or the fruit up, you are creating semi-permeable membranes. Um, generally speaking, fruit or vegetables have a skin on them. That's a slightly less permeable membrane. Once you slice it up, um, you're exposing the center of the, the, uh, the fruit or the, the vegetable. And that membrane that's covering the inside flesh is often a lot less, a lot more permeable. You're then adding a solute to it in this form, salt. Um, salt is something that can be dissolved in water, therefore it is a solute. Uh, and the, the water then flows from an area of low salt concentration inside the fruit or vegetable to the one of high solute concentration, which is outside the vegetable and then because there's nowhere for it to go, it falls into the bowl. So osmolarity is the other concept to get our head around, and that's the concentration of solute particles within a solution. So high solute concentration is high osmolarity. Um, low solute concentration is low osmolarity. And this is how, along with like our blood volume, so literally kind of how much water is in our blood, how thick or how viscous our blood is, um, this is how our body senses and tries to regulate hydration. So this kind of is the fluid homeostasis cascade. Um, basically the things to, to note are if intracellular fluid osmolarity goes up, um, so if the amount of salt or if the amount of um, the osmolarity of our um, the fluid inside our cells goes up if we have more solutes inside our cells. Uh, this signals to the brain via various things to drink more water. We, we, we get thirsty, we then go and, and drink more water, and then we look to bring the solute concentration from inside our cells back down, because remember that th those solutes will move from inside the cell, which is an area of high solute concentration, to the bloodstream, i.e. outside of the cell, which is an area of uh, low solute concentration. Conversely, if blood volume goes down, um, you know, we then, the, the same sort of thing will, will happen. We look to um, maintain a certain level of, of blood volume um, and the same thing will happen and we, we go and then take in some water. Uh, the opposite will happen if um, our blood volume goes up lots or our intracellular fluid osmolarity goes up lots. Our brain will be signaled that hey, we've got enough water, it's cool, we can, uh, we can release some of it and we'll generally we'll go to the toilet. Along with um, increasing thirst, we get uh, water retention as well. Um, our body wants to retain what little water we have left just until we can, we can drink.